Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a product from Sizel, the NWA 55AXE Outdoor Access Point. And I know some of you have never heard of the Sizel brand before, but I can still remember it. It was the brand of the modem router that PLDT DSL provides before. When I say before, that was a long time ago. And they are actually in the networks industry for over 30 years. And if PLDT telecommunication company trusted Sizel, you know that they are a reputable company when it comes to network. And they are named among the best Taiwan global brands. Before we continue, I would like to say thanks to our friends from Sizel for making this video review possible. Without further ado, let us check what is included in the box. Inside the box, we have a safety documentation, a power cable, a POE injector, a screw set for mounting, the actual unit, and two antennas. First impression with the unit, it was heavy compared to the other access points that we have tested before. And heavy gadgets connotates that it is a quality product. But of course, later we will know on the actual test. Then aside from that one, this unit is IP55 rated, that it has a limited protection from dust and low pressure water jets. And I think no one would actually place this access point near a water jet. But I believe it will survive rains because of the casing and the antenna placement. And the good thing about the antenna, it is removable. Meaning, you can actually replace the antenna if you want to. But for now, we will test its pull capability with the stock antenna. For the specification, it has a gigabit LAN port, power draw of 16 watts, data rate up to 1,775 Mbps, MU MIMO, and mesh capable for extended coverage. But I think we would be able to show the mesh capability because we only have one unit for now. Now let us try to install and configure the access point. Guys, I would like to remind you that there are several ways to install and configure this NWA55AXE. But for now, we are going to configure it using the Nebula app, which can be downloaded on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Okay, right now for the physical configuration. Guys, we have here the POE injector and we have two LAN cables. Okay, one LAN cable, the red one, is directly connected on the LAN port. Okay, it is mentioned on this POE injector and of course the other end for that LAN is connected to my source of internet. In your case, it might be your modem router or switch, but make sure this one is connected to your source of internet. And of course, the other one, the black cable, okay, it's connected to the POE and the other end would be connected at the LAN port at the bottom of this access point, okay? Then after that one, we just need to power it on or plug it to a wall outlet. And okay, after that one, we have already opened our Nebula application and we are ready to add the access point. And click on Add Device and you can actually scan the QR code that is located at the back of this NWA55AXE. Scan on that one. Okay, then click Next. Then you'll be able to see here the access point and click Next again. Okay, if a newer premiere, no, let us just uh, don't upgrade the premiere for now and click next. And this is the current configuration that you should have. And click on done. And let's just wait for a couple of minutes for it will automatically online and configured and added to our Nebula application. Okay, guys, then after a couple of minutes, it is already added on our Nebula application. Let's try just, let us just try to put this one up. Okay, so we can actually see the size of access point. And right now, we are able to see one online. And of course, we haven't actually configured yet our Wi-Fi network. For our Wi-Fi network, you can create on this one, create Wi-Fi network. Then of course, the Wi-Fi SSID name. So let's just create. Okay, and let's wait for a couple of minutes again for this to complete the configuration of your Wi-Fi SSID. Okay guys, after a few minutes, I believe the SSID that we have created is already available. Now let us try to check our Wi-Fi network. Click on settings and right now we have the NWA55AXE 
JK and we have already completed our installation for using Nebula. Guys, the installation is really easy but if you want to configure it using the other methods, you can check Sysel website for they created already a video for configuring this access point. Guys, this is the web management of Nebula and I believe if we do a run through on what we can do with this access point, it will be a long video. So I'll just create a separate video for that one in the future. So for now, let us try to check on how this access point performs and let us do a range test outside the house. Okay guys, right now we are around 155 meters away from our access point or the side set and WA55AXE and I would just like to show you the settings or the band that is available for that one that we have configured is only 5 GHz and 6 GHz Wi-Fi frequency. We have disabled that 2.4 for less interference from our neighbor's Wi-Fi router. And of course, let's try to check our Google map as well just to make sure that we are located at around 155 meters 158 meters more or less and we're going to perform a speed test okay and here we go let's do the first speed test and we are getting 102 mbps per download while for upload it is 108 mbps i would just like to show you that it is connected to that sisel a55 axe and our mobile data is turned off so let's try to move a little closer Okay, I believe this is more of a 100 meters range and let's try to check or verify again on our Google Maps. This one and right now we are around 103 meters away from our access point. And let's do a speed test as well on this location from 102 to 108. And right now we are able to get 115 Mbps per download while 119 for upload. That is still an improvement coming from 155 meters range. Now let's try to move further closer. Okay, I believe this is somewhere around 50 meters range. But to make sure, let's try our range on Google Maps. And right now we are around still 64 meters away from our access point and let's try to do a speed test again on this location from 115 and 119 from 100 meters range and we are getting 156 mbps per download while 149 for upload and now let's try to go in front of that access point and guys right now we are in front of the Sisel access point and let's try to do a speed test on this location. And guys, we are getting around 475 Mbps per download while 521 Mbps per upload. And because that is the Sisel access point is just in front of us. Guys, that was great. I was really amazed. You can see that the other access point that we have tested previously have the same range. But we can't actually make a conclusion regarding that one because the furthest area that we have on location is up to 155 meters for now but of course range is usually given for an outdoor access point but let us see on the actual performance on stability and reliability and our test for that one is online gaming mobile legends because if you will be able to have a great gaming experience on low latency on mobile legends other applications will excel as well Okay guys, right now we are around 155 meters range and I would just like to show you that mobile data is turned off and Sysel NWA55 is the SSID that where we are currently connected and guys 67ms Okay, I'll just try to complete the game on this location and give you my feedback regarding this range I'm speechless with that performance. So far, this NWA55AXE is the first one that is able to give us a great gaming experience on 155 meters range, single digit latency. Okay, I know some of you is amazed as well and will be asking on how about using it as an indoor access point. 
So maybe let us try to check the range that it will provide us inside a three-story house. Okay guys, right now we are standing in front of the Sizel NWA55AXE and we're going to do a baseline testing inside the house. Okay, and right now we are able to get 415 Mbps for download while 433 Mbps for upload. Now let's try to move on the bedroom. Okay, right now we are in the bedroom and we're going to do a speed test. And guys, right now we are able to get 219 Mbps for download while 320 for upload. Now let's try to move upstairs. Okay guys, right now we are on the roof deck and we are still connected to the NWA55AXE and this is via 5GHz Wi-Fi network. And hit go. Okay, it seems that we didn't have a good signal in this location. But let us try again. Okay, as per second attempt, we are able to get 3.38 for download while 8.5 for upload. And guys, this is the area where our Wi-Fi router are having the hardest time giving us internet connection, the roof deck. And now, let us try to move downstairs. Okay guys, right now we are on the ground floor and we are still connected to the Sizel NWA55AXE and let's do a speed test. And now we are able to get 21.9 for download while 5.73 for upload. And that was a good result as well. Guys, this is not really intended for indoor AP, but it was great. We are able to access the internet on the bedroom and even on the ground floor. Although the speed test on the roof deck is a hit or miss, and I would not really consider that one as a success. But comparing it to other outdoor access points that I have reviewed, this is the first one who was able to give us an internet access on the ground floor. For indoor gaming, inside the bedroom, it was actually great. While on the ground floor, we are hitting a single digit to double digit latency, which is still acceptable. But guys, if you need an access point for indoor, I would really check your product lineup like the NWA220AXE and the other indoor AP on their website. Would I recommend it? Guys, for checking on online stores, this one is more expensive compared to the TP-Link EAP225. But if you are really serious with range and performance, definitely I would recommend this one. What we have done on this video is barely touching its full capability and we already have a great experience for one week of testing. I think the only negative thing that I can say for this access point is there is no physical reset button. And honestly, it took me a while to figure out on how to do a reset because you have to be extra careful when you are using it as a standalone, you have to make sure that the username or credentials that you have set is right. Aside from that one, this NWA55AXE is a great choice for outdoor AP. And I think that will be all for now. If you have comment and suggestion, comment down below or message me at JK Chavez on FB. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.